he's getting his rewards now. Mikel, nice to see you. Mikel Arteta is amongst friends. Come and join us, Mikel. Come and stand next to me over here. Congratulations. Thank Just um, sum up what you what you made of that performance from your team today. Well, really happy. Uh, big performance. Uh, they haven't lost here since August, I think. That's right. And that tells you the story. They are a really, really good team. Extremely well coached. They make life really difficult for you. But I think today we're outstanding and, uh, and we needed that level to, to beat them today. So how did you do it? Well, first, I think uh, we showed a lot of quality in, in certain of the pitch and with the ball. We are really connected. We have real purpose and clarity where to attack, when to attack. Against a shape that they had uh, slightly different uh, than what we expected. And then without the ball, we were so disciplined. Uh, when we were higher up the pitch, they are the best team in the league by breaking that press. And then you have to track back. And then we stayed really disciplined. And we were really humble to be in certain uh, positions, uh, to be patient there, to regain the ball and hurt them. You mentioned that, that maybe set up in a way that you, you didn't expect. Can you give us a bit of insight into the tactical thinking, uh, the battle that was going on on the touchline? Well, we prepared it because they did something similar to... Um, to that against Liverpool away, uh, which they never do, and uh, they do it in the other side today. So we prepared because we knew that it could happen, but we didn't know the approach. What, what is that? Uh, something. <laughs> I want to explain, but, uh, but they are really difficult. They are really well coached, honestly. Uh, what they do, um, it makes a lot of sense and it complicates his life. Mikel, I asked Bakayo, but I'm yeah. going to ask you the same question. What's the difference of your team this year from last season? We are all older, and you can tell, especially <laughs> on me. Uh, we have obviously went through a lot of moments together and uh, the chemistry that, uh, that you build within the, the team I think is very important. We signed some tremendous players as well, which always helps because it's about them. And then I think there is a good moment because the squad is healthy, you know, and the momentum is good, the energy around the place is good and, um, and we've been through it already and I think that helps. We've just, sorry, go on, go I was on. just going to say, as you as a manager, another year mature as well, like what's, what's the difference in you as well? Well, uh, my energy is the same, the enthusiasm is the same, but probably you take it slightly different. Um, I don't know, I don't know how I felt last year, to be fair, and just enjoying the moment and embracing it, and, and let's see how far we can go. We were just talking about Kai Havertz, Mikel. I mean, you must be delighted how he's grown into the role uh, that you're asking him to play. Uh, he stuck with it and shown a lot of character. Uh, he was tremendous again today, but he's been, his overall performance has been superb. Now his goal contribution is um, higher than anybody else in the league, I think, in the last few months, and that tells the story. But his war rate, he was chasing 70 yeah. metres here. A player that has these hearts and, and this determination, that's why everybody loves him. <laughs> it's the centre forward's goal as well, wasn't it? The little run. Yeah, and being there in the right time, yeah. Jorginho running there, I was a bit yeah, surprised yeah. about that. <laughs> still had the legs, but, didn't he? Uh, <laughs> He was but a Mikel, good timing. Um, as for Kyle Havertz as well, did you always see him as being a striker? Because I was always uncertain. I didn't really know where, what sort of yeah. play he was. But were you clear when you signed him where you were going to play him? I think you have to feel the player, you know, until he's not in the environment. I think it's very difficult to, to understand. I thought he could play in three different positions to attack him midfielders and as a nine. And then, yeah, we started to feel, you know, in certain spaces, certain relationships, which is everything, and you know better than that. If you like to run, you need somebody that plays those balls in behind. Uh, and those, those relationships are appearing in a natural way, and sometimes the players decide at the end, not the manager, where they have to play. How much pride are you taking, Mikel, in these defensive performances as well? Another clean sheet today, five yeah. consecutive clean sheets on the road, uh, restricting City to so few chances. Luton didn't get a sniff midweek and Brighton very little today as well. Teams are saying they can't create chances against you now. Well, really good because that means that um, our collective organisation is very strong, but as well the, de the desire and... Um, and the love for defending from the player is there and it has to be there. If not, you cannot do that. You saw the reaction of the teammates on, on Gabi 3-0 and he blocks that shot. That's them. That has nothing to do with me. That's the spirit within the team and how much they want to win. And that's uh, really good to see. One more before they drag you away. Um, you've got some big games coming up in the Champions League as well. Yeah. Are you thinking in terms of any priorities? No, priority now is, uh, is Tuesday for sure. We're going to have an unbelievable atmosphere at home. First time in 14 years that we are in this position. Let's go for it. We wish you. Hello, guys. Yes. Um, yes, the Arteta I've just spoken. Yes, uh, on Tuesday is the next big match. Big, big match. You know, Bayern Munich is not a smaller team. It's not an easy team for us. If you look at the record in the past, 
you can see that Bayern Munich have always battered Arsenal back to back. So I believe this is time to revenge for Bayern Munich. Arsenal is on good form right now. So I believe I don't have anything to fear. I believe that Arsenal will do well with Bayern Munich. But today's match was wonderful. Arsenal beating uh, Brighton with three uh, goes to nil means a lot to me it means a lot to all arsenal fans let's continue to do this together uh you know let's keep our fingers crossed and be hopeful and see how this premier league is gonna go but the way everything going on right now uh I, I, although i'm certain that arsenal might clinch the league you know for the first time in 19 years if i'm not mistaken you know but there's a lot of challenge ahead there's a lot of challenge we still have my united to play we have thought now to play we have chelsea to play as well so for us not to win the premier league we must always be on our best yes so i thought we should bring this to your screen quickly please endeavor to subscribe to our channel we are a small channel we're just trying to grow please encourage us to grow thank you very much uh, please like and share and subscribe to our channel take care and bye for now Thank you.